Okay, quick look through Monday's volume leaders. Just going to have a quick buzz through these markets. Haven't done it in a while. Uh, really busy in the background. Spent the whole day at the computer yesterday doing some uh, trailing stop back testing calculations again. Uh, we've got a gap up this morning. So, you know, we've got a gap fill in play at the moment. Uh, that's kind of heading there on the decks already. And then we'll see where the markets want to go after that. Uh, small caps actually up near highs here, but there's a little bit. Ah, it's Monday morning, widespreads, a little bit of uh, mixed reaction in a lot of the small caps I'm following. Let's have a quick look at 250. Yeah, you know, we, we, we're we throwing the bear case out there just in case. I say just in case, it doesn't really matter where they go, does it? But. Um, FTSE 100 is just back up to this. This was the previous highs, and it's you know it's probably gonna be an area of interest. But uh, let's have a look at the DAX. DAX is through new highs, kind of what we we call swing move, pull back to mean trend, back to highs. Transports bear flaggy. We'd like it just to ignore that bear flag and just melt higher. Dow looks okay, doesn't it? S&P looks okay. NASDAQ, active low, high, low, high, high, first pullback. Kind of traded up towards a swing move there as well. So, oh, let's just buzz down into the uh, small caps. Potential, you know, we, we've seen a little bit of interest coming to small caps around, around the last week especially. And here's the aim as well. It's kind of doing the same thing, you know, potential bottoming. I'll just throw that in there, but you know that's not a meaningful high in any way. But uh, it's a defined level. So yeah, you know potentially we're we're in the right hand side of a bottom here, building a bottom still. I know I, I know the bottom was called months ago, but uh, you know stocks don't really um, get a huge amount of interest in, until the the bottom is more obvious. It's um, it's like green shoots, isn't it, at the moment? You find a lot of people who trade trade trends or you know anything in an uptrend or you know momentum swing trading and trends will be still, you know, really on on the sort of uh, holding off, holding off, getting excited is probably the best way of uh, explaining it. Just trading my plan. Nibbling at the best ideas, what come along, and uh, yeah, it's doing fine, doing fine at the moment. Let's just move into the volume leaders, see what's in there. Shall we have a look at the no? Let's just go straight to the volume leaders today. It is, there's quite a lot of volume. Um, it's 9 39. We should have traded. I'll say nineteen percent to be on average volume. So it, you know, we we've got a full sheet or or more. I'll just I'll just squeeze that a bit more and just bring it down a little bit more. He says we've got sixty on the list. I'll just I'll just fly through these. We've got in general minings in there. Uh, crude oil couple of gold miners, maybe four, five. I'm just a general mix, so let's just fly through these and just see, you know, obviously choppy, awful action, not the type of stock I, I approach for a trend. Henry's in the background, just barking at something. Um, just buzz through these. See if there's any interesting charts in there. This one here is a return to growth. So, you, you know, I'd like to see a base build. Take, you know, four months or so at least, wouldn't it? And then it might be trading towards a different set of results. Who knows? That's the, you know, that's why I don't look too far in front. I just like to turn up every day. It's uh, 
Henry's getting twitchy behind me for some reason. Turn up every day and I just do my thing. Um, I don't compile a big watch list of, of stocks, what, you know, our favourites now on, you know, on my GTOS screen. And because, you know, by the time they actually, you know, I've, I've had breakouts and pullbacks and I ignore everything in between. So by the time they hit my screen, it might be a, di a different stock. Uh, yeah, well, one of the better sort of uh, little little sort of bases on on one of these uh, metal stocks. Obviously, the prem has been been a really orderly one. Rear view was. Let's see what else is in there this morning. Yeah, me group. A little bit of vol. I kind of posted this one, didn't I, on the Twitter. A bit bit of vol. It's trading towards a new set of result, results now, this one. But a little bit of vol since the, those, uh, you know, th this is the slingshot of growth where, where it broke out. That's why it was at the top of my uh, list. I like to get a slingshot growth into a trend, obviously. Uh, VLG. Mm, tick back up in its numbers. A good tick back up in its numbers, but... Um, It'll kind of be de decelerating on the turnover, but everything else looks as though it's uh, a tick back up. High, high in the uh, pre tax and high, high in the earnings per share. But um, yeah, early days. Is it a base? Is it a first pull? I don't know. You know, we never do, but. Uh... Yeah, basis on my watch list today obviously gem feels just right side of the base there uh, this pod point it, it shot off really fast didn't it on friday this one um it's It's not really punching in, in the screen. It is accelerating on, on the turnover year on year. And uh, it's the earnings per share are expected to be less negative. I don't know. what There's like a, a zero on the pre-tax. So I don't know if it's a real number or not. And I don't know if the latest news has filtered into those either. Uh, card, big reverse fall base on that. That was the first retrace here. And, um, you know, potential base there or a high high moving on and that is this morning's uh, volume leaders um i won't be here for the uh the usual time for the uh, live screening tonight so i'll probably just run the screens a bit later i'm, I'm I'm out at the uh, at the movies actually, uh, going seeing something what I've been waiting to see, um, and uh, the only time I could get it's only on for a short time was tonight, and um, so I won't be here for for tonight's screening, but uh, I will uh, drop the charts as soon as I get home. Okay. <laughs>